and let's test our poetry out on her. Oh no, this is not going to go well. Or I hope it does, but knowing my luck. <laughs> yes, how happy I am that you could come. It is so delightful to have a chance to spend some time together. Oh yes. Now, do you like poetry, my lady? Yes, I do. The wind that blows the dry road's dust. Aha, there we are. A very old standby, but moving in its own way. Time is passing quickly, and we cannot linger here too long. Yes, perhaps I can persuade you. No! Relation required for automatic success, only 20! <gasps> no! Okay, we have to meet her four more times, and perhaps I can find one more poem, and that will then give me what I need. Uh, oh. Oh, he wants to attack me. Oh, never mind. Yoshio's here to take care of him by the looks of things. Come on, kill him, Yoshi. Come on. Oh, he got knocked out by a drunk guy. <laughs> no, seriously? Okay. Well, I'd say that he started it. That titles you to his sword and purse, I suppose. Have a drink on the house, as I dare say you've saved a patron or two, a broken skull. Okay, so I picked up some cash, and I look absolutely fierce in this mask. And I also got his sword to sell. Okay, so here appears to be another companion. Hello? God, I love this country. Oh, he, oh, he's originally from England. Okay, so I can do that accent, no problem. I was originally from England, but I came here on a Dutch ship. It ran aground after being lost in the Pacific. There are only nine of us alive when we got here, and it was just our luck that we got picked up by Spanish priests instead of Japanese. They told the local daimyo we were pirates and we were tossed in prison. Luckily, the kind lord came to his senses, expelled the Catholics, and set me free. I went into his service as a technical advisor, helping him build a modern galleon. Unfortunately, before he could gain mastery of the sea, he was defeated on land and committed seppuku. The daimyo that defeated him had no use for a man such as myself, and I've been wandering Japan ever since. It's quite a fascinating country, but it's too bad nobody takes me seriously. Nobody cares about sea power, and everyone's already quite the expert on guns and cannon. Yes. Well, as it happens, I run a company of mercenaries. Do you? Well, I am in no position to be picky. I would be pleased to join you. Okay. We can teach you the rest. Okay. Give me a few moments to prepare. Okay, he was free for us to recruit him, so hopefully he's worth it. <laughs> we will hope anyway. Let's take a look at his stats. Okay, he's level 11 as well. He has spotting, pathfinding, tracking, riding, and weapon master. Nothing else, though, as he is using a musket, by the looks of things. Ah, he has a very high trade skill and engineer, so he's going to be the engineer, by the looks of things. Okay, let's see his equipment. Yes, he's using a rifle and some cartridges, of course. Let's give him a hat. And perhaps we'll give him a katana as well. Just in case he gets into a bit of a scrap. Oh yeah. So. There we are. Now, I actually forgot to give Yoshio his bow. So, now I've remembered at least. <laughs> so there we are. Now he can use a bow. That's very nice. And let's see here. He's not going to be infantry. He's actually going to be with the archers. Musashi is infantry. Or should I say cavalry? He should probably be cavalry, shouldn't he? But I don't have any others, so... Yeah, might as well just leave it. This guy is going to be with the archers as well. Okay. That seems fine. Okay. Hmm. These guys should really be archers, shouldn't they? Because they do have bows, but... Ah, no, we need the infantry. Okay, let's just leave it for now. I would really like to join those guys, but we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so let's actually travel to Mito 
Finally, we're moving again. I apologize for the delay. And never mind. There's some bandits there. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Die. You will be taken prisoner, and then you will be sold to the nearest ransom broker, if I can find one. <laughs> okay. Here they come, round here, I think. This is a good way. Yes, here we go. We've got a nice river bank to fire our arrows from. I'm actually going to move my infantry to the... Oh, no, I don't want to move my infantry to the other side. I'll move them like so. Oh, no, they're archers. No, I don't want to move my archers over there. Infantry, come over here. Yes, there we are. That's the way to go. Yes, the veteran samurai archers are doing a very good job now. Okay, so let's get out my bow and actually do some damage ourselves. Oh yeah, you can just tell that I'm actually hitting a lot more accurately now. Oh yes, this is great. Oh yeah. Skill ups everywhere. Everywhere you look. That's the way to go. Oh yes. Okay, let's just charge in. Infantry, go! Finish them up. No! Oh, come on! Ah, oh, no, Bruce. You cannot see in that helmet, can you? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. No! He's getting away! Oh, never mind. Okay, woohoo. Veteran samurai archers are very accurate by the looks of things. And there we are. I don't think we lost anyone. Did we? No, we didn't. Nice. Okay, we're starting to get a very nice force going here. I'll just take all these. Okay, I won't take the hats. They're starting to not be worth it anymore. Okay. Ooh. A lot of clans making peace there. Okay. Do I have enough renown now to actually join one of the factions? That would be cool. Hope so, anyway. Do the veterans level up anymore? No. Okay, that's the max. So, I need to find out which faction actually has the specialist archers. Oh, no! That's a problem, because I want to marry Lady Miko. Oh, no. Okay, well, maybe I'll just have to deal with it for now. <laughs> I may change faction later on. I mean, it's going to take me quite a while to actually make some mid-game progress at least. I've made quite a bit of early game progress. Okay, William says, can you smell that? The stench of soybeans being fermented into soy sauce. It's the scent of Choshi. This is where I washed ashore after my ship sank. The people took me in and I was more worried about the stink than my wounds. Do we want to know more? <laughs> Japan is relatively isolated from the rest of the world, even China, for God's sake. But the Japanese have built great industries even in this era of civil war. They've not been stagnant. Someday they won't be able to hide anymore, and they'll have to deal with everyone else. But they won't be too far behind. They'll catch up, maybe they'll even surpass us Europeans. The land of the rising sun. Let's go to Mito and deliver this letter, if possible. He is here, I believe. The guy that we need to deliver it to. Yes, I think this is him. I am Bruce Force. Yes. I bring a message from Great Lord Satomi. Take my seal as proof that I've received it. Yes. Okay, there we go. We get some relation increases. Not too sure how that's going to help me in the long run, but hopefully it will. Shall we recruit a few more volunteers? I think that's a good idea. Ah, oh, track down bandits. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Actually, before we head away from Mito, I think it would be a good idea if we talk to the Guildmaster just to see what kind of task he has for us. Yes! I will escort the caravan to Yamada. Oh, that's <laughs> that's quite tricky, actually. Rather far away, I must say. Okay, well, let's speak to them. 
Yes, my name is Bruce Force. I will lead you to the Yamada. You follow my lead. I'll take you through a safe route. Oh yes, okay. Let's do it. Oh, a lot of kingdom messages going off there. Now, we need to find where Yamada is. It's down here, I think, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, it is <laughs> a lot further than I initially thought, but that will just make this even more worthy of XP and glory. Oh, yes. Now, before we actually go in here, I need to skill up a few of our people first. Okay, that's great. Nice. Now, we do have some bandits here who are running from us, so perhaps we don't even need to bother ourselves with them. I would like to for the XP, but they appear to be moving a little faster than we are. Okay, now... Which way? I think if we go south through here and then make our way along the coast, that would probably be the fastest route. Okay. Ooh, there's some more bandits there. Oh, if only we could catch them. Aha, here we go. We might be able to engage. They do have 0.2 faster speed than we, but... Hopefully that will change once our pathfinding increases a little further. Oh, okay, Yoshio is talking to us. You see that castle up on the hill? Odawara Castle, it's called. I worked for the Lord there not long ago. It's not as showy as some of the other castles in this land, but it's the finest stonework you ever saw. Hmm. Tell me more. Like most castles that last around here, it's got foundations that are from the Murumachi period. Beautiful location, too. Odawara sits right in front of the pass, leading out of the Kanto Plain, which allows the Lord to control the traffic through the Tokaido Road. Here's the funny thing, when the Buk first rebelled against the Kuje, they all said they weren't going to have any puppet rulers anymore. You can guess how long that lasted. Their Hojo clan ended up controlling the shoguns the way the regents controlled the emperor. It was obscene. After they were overthrown by the Ashikaga, who became the new shoguns, a Hojo descendant takes Odawara and starts off this new era of wars between the domains. Now we might be on the verge of a third shogunate. Maybe they'll actually keep power this time. Ooh, okay. That was quite a few pronunciations there. <laughs> I apologize for any incorrect ones. Oh, yes. And now we will head through the forest once more. It is rather dense, so we might not be able to see anyone sneaking up on our troops there, like I just saw here. Bandits. Die. This will teach you for trying to sneak up on our caravan. Who we are trying to protect. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's stick back here, and I don't know why Yoshio has a horse. He shouldn't really have a horse while he's using a bow. Uh, yeah, I really need to change that. Yes, good work, Yoshio. And Musashi appears to be the one that attracts the most archers. <laughs> or should I say arrows. Okay, charge guys. Charge infantry while our archers do a good job at picking them off. Ooh, they're in the trees there being rather sneaky. Okay. Go on. No. Yeah. No. Oh, I couldn't kill one bandit. <laughs> he phased me by being so sneaky in the trees. No. Okay. Well, we got a war Yumi again. And a hat. Rather nice. Okay. Let's head to Yamada once more.